I know why I'm watching this, but what are you doing here? I have to get out of the kitchen. I'm boiling some squirrels, and the noise they make bothers me. It took me almost a year to build this trampoline, but if I can jump high enough, I can throw this note out and we'll get rescued. Plus, bouncing's super fun. I even painted the trampoline so it looks like it's enjoying it too. Your plan won't work. You don't weigh enough to bounce high. Good news is, when it comes to weight, I'm the champ. Plus, I can throw farther because of my one massively developed arm. Don't ask me how I got it. Man, I love whack-a-mole. For God's sakes, man. This is a children's hospital, not a carnival. So, what do you say? Huh. I guess more weight does equal more bounce. Yes, but more weight also equals more weight. I sure hope your cancer doesn't come back. Hello, can you go? Well, now you know. The family drive to canoe who's down the next stop street drop will tear. There's no escape. That's bad luck, so settle in. You're stuck. In Crash Canyon. Have a spasm makes no difference to the castle. Break the back! You live in a crash! Crash Canyon! <gasps> Would you kids get off your lazy butts and hurry up? We're trying to go on a nice family picnic. Picnic basket, check. Sunblock, check. Various games, check. Detailed itinerary, check. Now comes the best part. The double checking. Picnic basket, check. Wait. Where's Roxy? I don't know. I didn't include her on my list. The system has failed! Dad, pull yourself together. She's just in her room. This time? But what about next time? She could be in a shark's mouth and I'd have no way of knowing. Roxy, let's go! It's picnic time! Oh, uh, I'd love to, but I, I can't. I have an important thing. It's actually super important. I was just downplaying it, you know, to be modest. Oh, no! We're not falling for any of your excuses this time. Come on, Roxy, it's game night. And this time, we're not letting Jake be the banker. Okay, so I stole and I cheated. Blame yourself, you raised me. Sounds fun, but I can't. I have a bowling coupon that expires tomorrow, so really, my hands are tied because, as you know, I'm all about the bowling. <laughs> <laughs> it's movie night. We even chose a film you'd like. It's about a cheerleader who teases unpopular kids. Can't. I'm transliterating audiobooks so deaf people can read them. I just love helping. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you've got this wicked rash. Wouldn't want to spread it. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, but anyway, because of stuff, and also I love to, but yeah. <laughs> Bold! <gasps> Ah! Great idea setting this trap. It worked just like you said it would. If I have to suffer through family fun, then so do you. Now the trick to musical chairs is to be continuously calculating the shortest distance to a chair, taking into consideration the location, weight, and momentum of other players also near said chair. Yes, yeah, save it, Norm. You're talking to a former musical chairs champion. Or at least I would have been if it wasn't for Leah. Yay! But that's not gonna happen this time because all of you are able-bodied. Hey, where did Roxy go? Unbelievable! Are we really so awful to spend time with? Well... You wanna beat me? Get polio. Hello. What are you doing up there? I suppose I could ask you the same question. No, you couldn't. Right. If I understood logic, I bet that really makes sense. Moron! You've been listening to my conversation like some sort of spy! Who do you work for? Is it me? Is it me from the future? Well, uh, sit down! I'm rolling down a hill!
on you. <laughs> I win again. The Earth is rejecting me. Looks like there are two virgin queens. Oh, I used to be a virgin queen. Then I turned 14. Also, I wasn't a queen. What are you guys looking at? Queen bees? Sadly, in bee culture, they'll end up fighting each other to the death. The winner will then mate with a drone. Did I hear something about virgins looking to mate with a drone? Not the way you were thinking about it. It never is! Oh, no! Man, that looks bad. Someone should really do something. Come. <laughs> you look troubled, my son. She was stung by bees. Her forehead was poked more times than Lindsay Lohan. I see. Or at least my eyes do. And then they tell me what's up. Good deal for me. I don't really see what's in it for them. Anyway. Uh, uh, it doesn't hurt anymore. Shimachanga! <gasps> <gasps> it's totally healed! <gasps> it's a miracle! Like they weep, I sometimes substitute for mayonnaise. And then, just using his hands, he healed me. Look, no bee stings. And the pimple I was combing my hair over is gone, too. I call that your head. Okay, that's enough. None of this changes the fact that you left your family again. We were going to cut down some trees for a bonfire. Oh, that reminds me. I have to go meet Sarah and Frida. See you later. She left again? Can I ask you guys something? That thing that happened with Sid, was that real? The bee stings. They were there one minute, and the next, they were gone. <sighs> Just like husband number five. If my science education taught me anything, it said lab coats don't flatter your figure. And there's always an explanation for everything. Totally, right? I mean, this is Sid, the guy who once claimed he got his shadow pregnant. Maybe we were in shock and imagined it all. Or maybe there was a natural gas leak. Something like that. <sighs> well, I'm glad we figured it out. There's no way Sid did anything. Hm. That's funny. You said you'd say that. I don't know who he is, and I try to forget who you are. Talking about Sid. He was just saying how a beautiful girl would doubt him. <gasps> he must have meant me. I'm totally beautiful. Everyone says so, even me. He also said a sky spirit will anoint his heart. <laughs> oh! By the powers of Manudo! It's just as he said. Did he say anything else? As a matter of fact, he did. Lots of things. But they're only for those who believe in him. We, we believe. believe! We, we believe. believe! I'll believe anything! Ah, Sid says talk is cheap. Real belief begins with donations. <laughs> Man, making up religions is easy. No wonder everyone does it. Can I let the baby eagle out of me robe yet? Five more minutes. I'm not done enjoying this. <laughs> Roxy, time to get up! I've already risen, Mother. I'm going to the morning ramble. Sid bless you. What the hell's a morning ramble? It's when Sid talks and his followers listen. I can get you in if you want to go. I'll pass. If I want to hear rambling, I'll ask your father about math. What's all this junk? Sid merchandise. There's a price break if you buy a dozen or something. I'm not buying any of that crap. Here, Tick. Good morning. Let's have some breakfast. Norm, something a lot more serious than breakfast is going on around here. How could that be? Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Unless you own a sandwich place, then you're probably all about lunch. Our kids are wrapped up in the worst two parts of religion, profiting off it and believing in it. I'm sure it'll pass. Like that small toy Jake swallowed as a baby. I'm more concerned about Roxy. I can't believe the lengths she'll go to avoid spending time with us. Well, now let's give her the benefit of the doubt. Maybe she's just using this Sid thing as a cover to make our Christmas presents. Well, can you stuff hatred into a stocking? Physically, no. But metaphorically, sure. Which is why you can't trust milk. 
So I'm standing there, and I'm scared, because we all get scared when we see our own shadow. And I pounce on his back, and I'm rolling around, which is when I realised the burglar I had caught and was beginning to torture turned out to be me. Yes, I see, I see. We're all so connected. And now, Sid welcomes anyone interested in connecting with him on an individual basis. For a small contribution, of course. I'd be right chuffed to my lolly bits of dry orchard here on. Um, Sid understands that sometimes people don't bother to get to know the real you because of your appearance. It's true. They don't. And I have so much inside to offer. I want him to do something about my legs. You want him to help you walk more easily? Hell no. I want him to promise me I'll never have to walk again. Let this loser do the work. So you're asking Sid to cement your love? Not my love with him. I have someone else in mind. Listen, in Sid's eyes, love has no boundaries. But I have to tell you, in my eyes, it's weird. Yes, well, if it were up to me, you wouldn't be allowed to have eyes. Is he into doing any animal sacrifices? No, that's not really his thing. Ah, forget it then. Mom! Dad! I'm glad to see that you've decided to join Sid's flock. Praise be with you. All hail Sid! I don't understand unicorns! We're not here to join the flock. We're here because we're worried about you and this whole religion thing. Roxy, this is painful to talk about, but... I feel like I need to share something with you. It's okay, honey. Be strong. Religion isn't always a good thing. When I was young, I was touched by a clergyman. <laughs> You're it. <sighs> what kind of a god would allow? I think what your mother and I are trying to say is that if you're looking to be a part of something, why not be part of our family? We're like a family here. As Sid says, if you want canned peaches, you have to can some seeds. That's idiotic. None of this makes any sense. Sid420 says understanding is like curtains. They're both words. Yeah, that doesn't make sense either. <sighs> I know. The world is confusing. That's why you need someone like Sid to show you the way. It's a hole! I'm a bloody golf course! Jake! We've been looking for you! Of course. You want to buy some stuff before the other Sid heads get to it. So, what are you looking for? We have a new line meant for the youth market. Or maybe a sacred Sid ball. This puppy will provide answers to some of life's tough questions. Try again later. So wise. Jake, we know this Sid thing is a scam, and we know you're behind it. Look, people want to believe in something, and I believe in taking advantage of them. Does that sound like a scam? Yes. Not according to the second Sid Madment. Thou shall do whatever. I intentionally wrote it vague to leave a lot of wiggle room. Keep the Sid ball. I'll send you the bill. We're losing our kids. We have to stop this. more like it. I want to punch a rainbow. I want to punch a rainbow. Let's go rainbow. That was muy spiritual. I agree. I have been convinced and will now convert to Sidism and say shalom to my Jewish origins. And he means the goodbye shalom, not the other ones. This scam is over. This man is a fraud. That girl believes in a fraud. And this boy is profiting off a fraud. To be fair, he's probably got a few frauds going on right now, but my wife is referring to this one. I like to agree with people, but this is one time I can't. This is no scam. Sid is a holy man. Yeah. We all know about the miracle of the healing hands, right? Of course. I even bought the commemorative plate. Oh, right, right, the miracle, where he healed Queen Bee Sting. A sting from a bee like this. And it stung Roxy in the forehead, huh? Just like this? Yeah, that's right. St sting away. Prove me right. And now I will heal her with the help of some good old canyon mud. <gasps> it's a bloody miracle. This man is an angel. 
Now he's not. He's nothing. Just like you. Is this true? Yeah, Jake. Is it... Is Sid just... Sid? Sid is exactly what we all believe him to be. What mm -hmm. he's seen. Is that what... To prove it, I will tell you Sid's most recent prophecy. In two days, we'll all escape the canyon. <gasps> we will? Is that really what he said? Yeah, did I? You did? He did. We are. We're all escaping in two days on our rocket. That's right, a rocket. And now... Let's hear it for Sid. Rejoice in his glory. I wanna punch a rainbow. I wanna punch a rainbow. Let's go. Rainbow. Let's go. Rainbow. Well, I guess we lost. I don't even care about winning. Every minute we're not with the kids, we're losing. Where's this piece go? I like to shave that. What shouldn't be shaved? Um, what he means is that it goes right over there. Actually, if you put it on the other side, it'll provide stability on liftoff. What are you guys doing here? We've decided to accept Sid into our hearts. You believe in the word of Sid? Even better. We believe in our family being together. And if that happens by believing in Sid, then sign us up. Hallelujah. Now, let's build that rocket, huh? We got some escaping to do. We built a rocket. It's a thing of beauty. Unlike you. Well then, let's go. Jake, why don't you and Sid lead us aboard? Okay. Let's go. See to it that we're in first class. Well, it's a bit tight, but I think that's all of us. Uh-oh. I just realized we forgot Coma Steve! He said he didn't want to go. Not in so many words, but I could tell. So, Sid, uh, do you need to say some sort of chant or spell or something? I'm, I'm not sure how this works. When it comes to poultry, geese are my favorite. Uh, what he means is that we have to wait a while. <laughs> well, you're just gonna have to hold it. Jake, this is like a super lame mosh pit without any music. When is the escape going to happen? Yeah, it's so tight in here, I can't tell whose hand is in me. Although I couldn't do much worse than the loser I came in with. So when will the rocket be going? Is it soon? Soon would be nice. I think from something I heard Sid say that it could be any moment or longer. That's pretty vague. I thought religions were always exact about the way things can be interpreted. What's going on? When are we leaving? Jake is about to answer all your questions. Now go ahead, Jake. I shut them all up for you. We're not escaping. I made it up. The prophecies, the rocket, everything. My mom and dad were right. The whole thing was a scam. <gasps> I kind of thought the gas would go on a bit longer. Anyway, since the cat's already out of the bag... What you did was very wrong. Even by my Hispanic standards, you should be punished. I agree. And I don't even like violence. I also agree. And I adore violence. Let's get him! <laughs> You know I'll do it, too, because I'm the lady that let a bee sting my head to prove a point! Why did you tell all these people they would escape? 
after you guys called me on the bee thing, I was worried. And you and Mom always told me the best way out of any lie is to come up with a bigger lie. We've never told you that. I know. I lied about that, too. It's not totally crazy. Sometimes there are geysers around here, and I thought if we got lucky... Well, I will say this about organized religion. It did bring us closer together. Think we'll be able to go home soon? That mob was mighty angry. Best we wait another day or two. And no better way to kill time than with some family fun, like a game of I Spy. I spy with my little eye something that is gray and cold and moist and... Ugh, now do you see why I never want to do anything with you guys? Ha <laughs> ha